cousin. His name is George. We brains are the most complicated organs in the human body. It could be argued that we are the most complicated things in the world as well. Brains regulate senses such as hearing, sight, and whatnot. The brain controls every action you take and every thought you make. Combined with the spinal cord and neurons, we can transport messages around the whole body. Now see here? See that brain? He's got parts. The largest dome-shaped part on the top of the brain is the cerebrum. It does stuff. This stuff includes thinking and processing information. It sends messages to your body to make you move, so it's clearly important. It also controls emotion and memory. I remember when I tripped onto the stove. It hurt. Thank you, Cerebrum. The next part of my cousin George is his cerebellum. It lets you acknowledge movement. The cerebellum is what tells you what gesture your hand is making, even if you have your eyes closed. My hand is a, is a fist. I can tell because my cerebellum lets me know things. Which would be very important if I was blind. Hey, no, it's a thumbs up. The cerebellum also coordinates limb movements, like when you're walking. Your cerebellum must be on vacation. <laughs> the brain stem controls automatic body functions. It regulates things like body temperature and blood flow. It also controls things like breathing and digestion, so you don't have to think hard about those kinds of things. Oh no, I forgot how to breathe. Wait, no I didn't. Thank you, Brainstem, for breathing for me. There are different parts of the brain that do certain jobs. Let's take a look at the cerebrum's parts. This is the frontal lobe. Its job is to regulate motor functions and things such as speech. Hello, random civilian. Hello, Jessica. I see your frontal lobe is working well. This thing here is what we boys in the business call the epicotal lobe. It lets you see things. It receives the information from the eye and registers it to your brain. The temporal lobe is the part of the brain which acknowledges hearing. So, now that we are familiar with my cousin George's brain, let us move on to the neurons. There are many different types of neurons, but they all mostly do the same thing. Neurons send messages from your brain to the body, and from the body back to the brain. However, there are different types of neurons. These include the motor neurons. The motor neurons control muscle contraction and movements. They look like this. They connect from the brain to the muscles in all the body and tell the muscles to move. This lets you walk and play sports and all that good stuff. Sensory neurons carry signals from out of the body to the central nervous system. This lets you receive senses such as sight and taste. They look like this. The receptor neurons take the information from the sensory neurons and process them, and send them back to the brain. This lets you actually acknowledge senses. The receptor neurons look like this. Interneurons simply connect neurons to your brain. They look like this. That was a mouthful. Stroke is a bad thing caused by blood clots restricting the blood in the brain. Stroke can cause partial paralysis and is very sudden, like a heart attack. Stroke is a problem which can lessen over time. It is not common, but usually occurs in older people. people. Cerebral palsy is a non-communicable disease, which occurs at birth. It mars your ability to use your muscles properly. Cerebral palsy will result in speech impediments and usually affects the motor areas of the brain. It is not a curable disease, but sometimes it can appear in very mild forms. Epilepsy is a disease which can cause seizures. It is caused by bizarre electrical activities in the brain. A person with epilepsy can get seizures very easily from things such as bright lights and video games. But headaches are very common and occur because of small swollen blood vessels caused by stress or other events. This can be cured by simple rest and not having people yell at you directly in your ear. These are very mild and happen all the time. Some problems are simply caused by the mind, such as paranoia and hallucinations, and other things, such as depression and phobias. The spinal cord is the main pathway for information connecting the brain and the peripheral nervous system. The peripheral nervous system is a system of neurons throughout your body. Your spinal cord is made up of vertebrae, which is a column of bones that can flex and bend. The spinal cord is made up of 31 segments, and did you know that giraffes and us humans have 7 vertebrae in our necks? The average male spinal cord is 45 centimeters long, and the average female spinal cord is 43 centimeters long. And that's all you need to know about the nervous system. I hope you don't forget all that, because I'm not saying it again. Thanks for sitting through this piece of education.